You mentioned Kenny Treister. Do you know what I think of Kenny Treister? He is the epitome of a blessing. He is the most talented, delicious human being. And I was so When I reached out to Kenny, I, I thought to myself, oh God, I'll, I'll never let go of him. Okay? Kenny, Kenny created. Kenny had the neshama. Kenny had the desire. Kenny wanted this challenge of the memorial. And I, once I got Kenny, and once he did started making the layout, I needed to go ahead and find people that'll follow me. And I found six guys. I found the name of Abresnik. A street named after him, right? Abe was, <laughs> you know, godsend, okay? I found a guy called George Goldblum. a builder from upstate New York. He says, and he's a survivor. Abe Resnick was a survivor. I'm on a plane flying from San Francisco to Tokyo. And I'm flying first class and I'm sitting on the window seat, and the seat next to me is empty. <clears throat> and then sure enough, uh, almost before the doors closed, a guy gets on, very chubby, nice Yiddish guy, quiet, soft-spoken, started to speak to me in Zbrochen English, but beautiful Yiddish. And now I'm speaking Zbrochen Yiddish, and he's speaking Zbrochen English, OK? And his name was Jack Chester, a Holocaust survivor, OK? So now, a guy by the name of Ezra Katz. Okay. So, I got already five other people. And then I run into a guy And he just very, very recently passed away. And his name of blessed memory was Salak Gorlan, out of in Broward. A genius, an industrial artist. We had a lot of common in that respect, a Holocaust survivor. So here we're ready. Every time that we tried to speak to the city of Miami Beach, 
before I opened my mouth, they swept us aside. You know, remember Mrs. David? You know, you guys are, you know, you and your guys, why don't you guys just kind of sit back and I'll, I'll do it, I'll do I'll, I'll pay for it, I'll do it. And I said, Norman, this is not that game. If you want to come and be part of what I am and what the other f people here who are with me, fine, we welcome you. And Norman says, okay. I'm on the doorsteps of being 93. You, you live and you live and you, and you see and you do and you remember and you, and you, you, uh, you have good days and bad days and horrendous days and, and, and all kinds of other things. Sally Golan, Holocaust survivor. He and his father survived. And Selig promised his father when he became a successful man <coughs> that whatever meets what that he would be involved in, that he would not look for notoriety. And I promised, he asked me, I want to be part of it. Please leave my name off because my father of blessed memory is looking down upon me. And with the exception of Norman, who's not a survivor, all the other ones have passed away. And, uh, and I'm still here kicking.